Here's more wrestling news for August 7th, 2021. And your headlines for this afternoon include First look at CM Punk in Stars Series Heels. Why is WWE Raw taking a big risk next week? Two segments announced for 8 9 episode of WWE Raw. Ex WWE NXT referee Drake Wirtz rants after getting suspended. WWE's replacement for Canyon Seaman revealed. Is Zelina Vega being used as a sacrificial lamb on SmackDown? WWE uncertain about plans for Davey Boy Smith Jr. Is gold on the menu for SmackDown's King Nakamura this summer? And more. We are kicking off today with CM Punk, who is expected to debut with AEW very soon, and who's also getting in the ring for a much different reason. In the next season of Heels, Punk will play a character named Ricky Rabies, and this week, fans got their first glimpse of Punk displaying his acting chops. Punk can also be seen sharing a smile with Arrow star Stephen Amell, who's sporting a bloody face, but we doubt Amell would be so happy if this blood was real. Heels follows the Duffy Wrestling League, and will have its next season premiere on August 15th, just in time for Punk's expected debut in AEW, expected it all out on September 5th. Over to WWE and the company only recently returned to touring with fans once more, but as cases continue to rise, the weekly shows may have to happen behind closed doors again. That's not if WWE can help it as Raw will be in Orlando's Amway Center this coming Monday, but are running a big risk in that venue. In the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, it's noted that the Orlando Magic have just cancelled their employee appreciation night in that same venue, which was meant to happen this coming Wednesday due to the rise of cases in the area. It's been said that WWE are fully aware of the ongoing rise in cases and fully expect to not be touring this time next month, but that won't stop the coming touring despite the very serious risks. With or without fans, next week's Raw will happen and two segments have been announced for Monday's show. During SmackDown, it was announced that WWE Champion Bobby Lashley and MVP will address Goldberg after they came face to face this week, which ended with MVP eating a spear. Charlotte Flair will also be on Raw to discuss her recent no disqualification loss to Raw Women's Champion Nikki A.S.H., and with the two set to be joined by Rhea Ripley at SummerSlam, we're confident the Queen of All Eras will have plenty to say. Earlier this year, Drake Wirtz was released by WWE after causing a lot of problems in NXT, and although he's been very busy since then, you won't be hearing from him on Twitter. The controversial ref, who had become known for sharing debunked QAnon conspiracy theories, has now been suspended from the social media platform despite his attempts to distance himself from Q. Though he claims to be no longer affiliated with QAnon, much of Wirtz's rhetoric still falls in line with that way of thinking and on Facebook, the former NXT referee let people know all about his Twitter suspension. Claiming that Twitter is run by a corrupt cabal, Wirtz claims that his account was taken down for what he calls promoting medical freedom, which means posting anti-vaccine conspiracy theories. Wirtz, who claims to be a constitutionalist, said that his First Amendment rights were attacked, though if he did read the Constitution, he'd probably know that the First Amendment protects speech from government action, not social media. He also claimed that Twitter was not allowed to shut down candidates in Florida and that action would be taken, but so far, no legal challenge by words has been publicly made. The controversial former referee ended by promoting his campaign and his website, VoteDrake.com, so this could be a clever way to drum up some attention. Running for the position of Florida State Representative in the 30th District, Drake will continue to promote his beliefs in campaign, but for now, that won't be happening on Twitter. Last month, WWE released Canyon Seaman after years as part of the company's talent relations department, and it didn't take long to find a replacement. On Twitter, Trent Wilfinger revealed that he is now Senior Vice President of ID and Talent Development, which was Canyon's old position, and is very happy to have the job. It said that Seaman's departure was due to the Adam Cole situation, as WWE was taken aback that the former Senior Director of Talent Development for WWE hadn't taken care of this matter already. Prior to WWE, Wilfinger worked for the Arizona Coyotes in game operations and later the Arizona Diamondbacks in their marketing and game operations team, and he'll now be bringing his talents to WWE. Over to SmackDown now, and this week, fans got to see Zelina Vega, who despite not winning a single match in close to a year, seems to be a fixture of the SmackDown women's title picture. 
challenging Bianca Belair to a match, the pair had a non-title match on last night's show, despite Sonya Deville and Adam Pearce believing the match was happening too soon to promote it. As predicted, Belair beat Vega in a short but entertaining bout, but the latter's purpose in WWE has been odd ever since she returned. Constantly racking up losses, Vega is the apparent sacrificial lamb of the SmackDown women's division, and she's not the only name not being used correctly. Before Money in the Bank, Liv Morgan had all the momentum in the world, which has now vanished, and instead of Vega or Morgan, SummerSlam will see Bel Air defend her title against Sasha Banks in what we're sure will be an entertaining match, albeit one we've seen before. In April this year, WWE signed Harry Smith, aka Davey Boy Smith Jr., to a new contract a decade after he left the company in 2011. Since then, Smith has had just one match, a dark match loss before the July 16th SmackDown, and fans shouldn't expect to see him on TV anytime soon. PW Insider reports that Smith is signed, but not assigned to a brand at this point, and there's no clear direction with his character. There had been plans for Smith to join NXT UK and enter a lengthy title feud with NXT UK champion Walter, possibly culminating in Smith dethroning the Austrian powerhouse. It now appears that those plans are scrapped, especially as travel between the US and the UK remains difficult, as WWE are in no hurry to get Smith back on TV over a decade after his last televised WWE match. Outside of the ring, Cena has granted more Make-A-Wish requests than anyone in history, and last weekend, the former world champion went viral for his latest wish. In the video shared online, Cena can be seen befriending a young fan in a wheelchair who, with a bit of help from John himself, was able to get up and walk around. Cena also posed for a photo with the fan and signed some autographs, and tons of people have been praising Cena's selfless act. It's said that Cena started granting wishes in 2004 before making a big deal of it, and now, over 650 wishes later, the WWE megastar can still improve the lives of countless individuals. And we're ending with more from SmackDown as Shinsuke Nakamura faced Intercontinental Champion Apollo Crews in non-title action last night and would have won had Commander Aziz not caused the DQ. Despite this, it was Nakamura and Rick Boogs who got the last laugh, as it's clear that WWE has plans for the King to eventually challenge for Cruz's Intercontinental title. With how underwhelming Cruz's title reign has been in recent months, we wouldn't be surprised to see the title change hands at SummerSlam, bringing Apollo's reign to an end at an impressive four months. Nakamura and Rick Boogs have proven to be a surprisingly popular combination on SmackDown, and whether the title change happens on pay-per-view or free TV, expect Nakamura to once again hold the gold very soon. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.